What up YouTube? This is Balpa here with a brand new video review. This time the Thundercats 2011 Lion-O. And guess who made him? Bandai of America! That's okay. Come back. This time they can't hurt you. <sighs> I'm gonna have to explain this. Let's get started. For those of you unaware, Bandai of America has been known to be extremely cheap in their later years. And this is mostly seen when they do Power Rangers. I've seen reviews of the Zords. They have they're really cheap and very crappy compared to the um, Japanese versions. But luckily, this is not carried on to Thundercats. These are excellent figures. Now, out of the figures that are released, I'm only buying the four-inch figures. Uh, if you want to buy the play sets and have them work with the play sets and the vehicles, then go for the 4-inch. If you don't want them, then I have to recommend the 6-inch. They are more detailed, more articulated. And then they have the 8-inch um, classic stylings of the original Thundercats. And then they have the uh, Deluxe um, line, which is pretty much these figures. But with, like, they have Mumwa in the internal form, I do want to pick up. Besides that... Um, Lino has no articulation in the deluxe line, except he can do Ho, Thundercats Ho, with both hands. But, um, if you want to buy the vehicles, I do rec highly, and I mean highly recommend these figures. These are awesome figures. So, uh, now that I've talked long enough, let's get started. But we're going to cover the packaging first. Here we have Thundercats, which has Lionel, the Thundercats logo. And these things are awesome for mini cards, packages. The flat bottom so you can stand them, and a J hook so you can hook them up. So mini box collectors will like that. You have multilingual of Thundercats bio and a Lino bio in multi languages. It's all over the place. We have the Thunder Wasters, Thunder Tank, Omen Ta Place the what is this? The Tower of Omens playset. I do want to pick these up. Not him. Other figures in the line have want to pick up, want to pick up, want to pick up, want to pick up, want to pick up. Multi-language. And the Thundercats bio will be down there. Thundercats is an epic fantasy combining swords and science. And boosting forced battles between good and evil. Wow. And then Lionel's bio, which will be down there. Lionel wields the Sword of Omens and leads the Thundercats to victory against Momo and the... And the ultimate villains. Cool. So uh, let's get started. And I just bumped the camera. Okay. So this is an awesome figure. I don't know if this. The reason I. I don't know if the reason I like this figure is because it's so cool. Or because it's Thundercats. Um, his articulation is actually pretty nice. He has a ball joint head which gets hindered by the shoulder pad, but you can work your way around it by doing that. Um, he features 360 outward elbows, bends at the elbow. Did I say outward elbow? I meant outward arms. He doesn't actually rotate at the uh, wrist, he rotates at here, which is okay. He has a waist joint, which that does not look natural. He has a cut and swivel uh, hips, which the skirt arm moves out of the way, so you can get... Can I get it to work again? Epic leg kicks. You gotta admit, that was a cool pose. He has knees and ankles. And something I would like to point out is that the pegs are not painted. It would have been cool if they were, but eh, it's not going to bug me as much. His accessories are the claw shield. The Sword of Omens. Did I, say, did I seriously just say Omens? The Sword of Omens. Very nice. And the Sword of Omens in dagger form, which mine is horribly bent. But uh, yeah, uh, these do get bent in patching, so do watch that. Um, the Claw Shield clips onto this arm. I'm only going to put it on. It goes on both, but I only keep it on this arm because that's how it is in the show. Clips on this arm pretty well, stays on due to friction. Pretty nice fit, I will admit. Uh, something I'd like to point out is that you can do that, and unlike the 6 inch, this doesn't peg in like this, you actually put it over the arm. And I was wondering if that's what they were doing originally, but then they scrapped it. But uh, would have been cool if we had that. Because the original one and the 6 inch line, you could just pop this off, plug this on, and it becomes a new arm. But uh, yeah, that's interesting. Um, detail is really nice. It's appropriate. Uh, soft 
plastic. We have a soft plastic sort of omens in the extended form. Very nicely detailed. Some red paint. Uh, no, you can't do the, um, give me sight beyond sight. Really doesn't work that well. And the dagger form is really nice. Now, the dagger can actually store it inside the claw shield. You just gotta get it in there just right, and you can put it on. And it kind of hinders a little bit. It doesn't go as flush as I would have liked it, but it still looks nice. Take that off. Goes on much nicer. He can hold both very well. Very nice holding. Um, he holds them very well. In dagger or sword form, these are really nice, but they're soft plastic, make them bend really easy, so do watch that. Um, gorgeous silver paint. Bandai of Japan uses this gorgeous silver paint. And Bandai of America used it pretty well in this figure, I'll give them that. Uh, note that when they have the Thundercat symbol on all the figures in the show, it's not like that. It's just red. So that is a little fact. The head is done very nice. I like the blue eyes. Um, the hair is very nicely done. The shoulder pad's done well. Shoulder pad. Well, bicep pad. Um, these pieces here are done really well. Nice paint here. His he toes. Yes, he does. Um, all around, it's a great figure. And you can get some really nice poses. But, you can't get him to reach. You know, if you have the dagger in here. And if you've seen the show, you know what I'm talking about. But you can't get him to actually get it like that. If he had an elbow swivel or a bicep swivel, he could. But he doesn't, sadly. And he has Thunder Links. Which pretty much is a magnet on the back. And they were praising this thing. I've seen stuff at Comic-Con where they were praising this thing. Even though I didn't go. But uh, they were praising this Thunder Link system. It's a magnet. Bandai of America has done computer chips. I mean, Operation Overdrive had computer chips. He-Man, the 2000X series, had computer chips. Why didn't you put them on this figure? It would have been so much better. I mean, the whole point of having this is that you put in the Thunder Tank, you get a new sound effect. You put in the Wasters, you get to shoot the missile. That's pretty much what this whole, you know, Thunderlink system is. It's just a magnet. It's not even that good. In fact, if I had something metal here... There. So yeah, Thunderlinks is kind of bad, but um, here's a comparison to Tigra, his older brother. There you go, fit very well still. So, at the end of the day, I can recommend the figure to Thundercats fans. So if you are a Thundercat fan, you need this figure. If you are just going to buy the normal figures, you know, and just not the vehicles and play sets, then I just hit my camera. Then I can't recommend the three three coordinate figures. They are extremely nice, but the sections are better. But I'm only buying these because I'm on a three and three quarter inch scale budget. And these are awesome figures that I can easily recommend to any diehard Thundercat fan. Then again, you know, if you're not gonna buy the vehicles, then there really isn't a point to buy them. But I like it, so I'm picking these figures up because these are great figures. You know, you might have something different to say. Uh, I think they're good. Um, obviously the sentients, the six inch figures are better. I do recommend those if, again, if you're not picking up the vehicles. But if you're not, if you are picking up the vehicles, then definitely pick these figures up. They look very well together, as you can see with Tiger next to him. So yeah, um, this is the end of my video review. So yeah, as always, leave a comment what you think of the figure. Like this video, subscribe to my channel for more video reviews. Well, update if you subscribed. Also, check out my channel for other video reviews. And also follow me on Facebook with this cool Facebook page I made called Video Central. And I will see you later. Adios. Link to the Facebook page in the description. Bye.